Rudra. This particular one is really, really good. This is really important for people doing like Photoshop composition. People really want to see. Like, honestly, I thought this and the frame, this door is like one piece, one image. And when you see it and you understand how much work goes behind it, really adds value to the, to the whole post. And also I can learn from it. What happened here? Oh, he started from the frame that looked completely different. He had to adjust the color to color match it. I would probably adjust the color on the highlights here bit more bluish to match the, the space color but this work here on the, the character is really really good this is really nice work on the highlights shadow is really really well done actually this is a bit annoying that i also come across when i merge different images together that every image will have its own resolution the moon is sharper than the, the, the sky here so that's something to look out for when you merge different images you want to make sure that whichever elements that are on the same depth you have to have them on the, in the same quality but other than that really well done nice mix wow this is nice really good choice with the angle i think he had this planned in mind before shooting he knew he's gonna add these elements because of the way he poses here this would work much better if you have like real light source there when, when shooting the blur also this is also important if you have different objects that are on different depth positions have to be a bit out of focus similar to all the grass here in front of the camera this is leo leonardo another photo manipulation artist it's cool but then i don't understand which elements are his work because i thought he took the photo of a person and then he created the galaxy inside but apparently that's not it something wrong with the edges here but the idea is really really cool if this is really or like you really took the different elements and merged them together this one caught my attention the most because of the light rays and everything ah okay now i understand which are which elements are which cool okay i think the overall look could have been a bit different because of the light rays coming from the left side i would expect more shadows here maybe a bit more darkness in the foreground this would be more like foggy mysterious scene this is creepy wow okay i would prefer to see this and the hands far in the distance but i can already see them overlapping with the trees so the compositing is not perfect maybe pick a different image where the trees are like far on the, the sides and there's plenty of of artwork similar to this that I've seen that can be used as reference here. The perspective seems a bit off. You can see that the tiger is shot from kind of a high angle. The lake and the mountains are shot on eye level. So both images don't really match perfectly. That's why you need to plan before creating this type of things. Not only in colors because color you can fix but the perspective is really really important to sell the visual. But again good work. I really like the idea again of putting the elements on the side to understand how the piece was created that's really important to see the effort and like that talking about instagram if you want to get more engagement usually if you post a carousel it shows up more than once for people on their feed i know she had i follow him for a while on instagram obviously because i follow him on instagram i only see wedding photography because that's what he does so challenging it can get really stressful because you're dealing with people who might have minimum experience so it's really really tough work some people can do it huge respect honestly i love this i love this look really good the the way he played with light and everything but this is not the only impressive thing about jihad because he also sent me his art station because his portfolio is all 3D. It's, and the, with the 3D work is really not bad. It's really good. But then when I see Instagram, okay, well, I'm, I was wondering what happened. Where did the switch happen here? Doing wet, wedding photography is probably more sustainable, I guess. Doing this kind of work is you really need to put so much effort into advertising yourself and making sure you land clients who actually want this kind of stuff. But keep on doing this, man. This is really good. I, I like this. This is nice. He's doing it right. He's using references. And that, that's really important when creating this kind of stuff. I would love to see this in motion. Again, it's a bit diverse on the kind of content I'm, I'm going through. Some photography, some 3D stuff. Some, it's not only Photoshop. I'm hoping to see some After Effects. 
Oh, I know Rahul also. He's, he's been following me for a while. I I think I see him under every post. He's really supportive and never got the chance to check his profile before. But when he sent it to me in the the sticker box, and I was wondering like, did he draw this from scratch? And apparently he does. He does digital painting. It's so good. Like really, really, I'm impressed, man. This is good. I love this. Oh, okay. He started with manipulations also, and then transitioned to. I like this. I like when people just you know experiment, try different things. You know, you, you never know which one is gonna catch on. You never know which. I can see from the beginning he already has the talent. Wow. I'm impressed. Roberto doesn't have so many posts. He does uh, VFX for music videos. A lot of work, man. This is why I included this. It's really impressive to see. I would say the one thing missing here is color grading. It could have been better. Giving this guy a follow up. Yeah, man, go ahead. That's the purpose of, of of this. If you if you really like what you see, you like the creator, just go ahead and follow them. Drop your work in Discord. I'll go through the list or or the the the, the shares from you guys on Discord next time. This time I'm doing it from Instagram, and I'm thinking of doing it on Discord next time so I can see your work there. Artworks. Good compositing. The thing is that his work is really nice. I would really, really, really encourage him to put his stuff on Instagram. Just get some visibility because this this is worth sharing. This is worth showing to people what you do. Just pay attention here. I would say to all the the, the sharpness different between all the, these images of the players. I can see here that this is uh, lower in resolution. This is sharp, but then this also is blurred. Not sure if you're trying to create an out of focus effect here. I don't think so. Other than that, it's really good. Like I like the compositing. I love this. Same thing here. Look at this. The sharpness is way off than this. So I think this is due to like image selection. Maybe he didn't find something that's high res, so he had to use this. The cup is kind of lost there. There's a bit of green. It's blending with this part. If you want this text to be readable, I would change it from blue to something else. There's so much going on in the background that some of the elements in the front are hard to see so that's something to keep in mind oh there's also the masking here that's a bit cut out i like this it looks cool let's see some of the, this other stuff i think for thumbnails it's okay to miss out on some details because you're only gonna see it small on screen it doesn't really matter this is good work for thumbnails there's a lot of colors it's so attractive Having multiple colors in one uh, thumbnail is also really good. Putting like small text or small elements is unnecessary because the thumbnail is always gonna show up small on YouTube. Unless it's a live stream and people are waiting and they see the thumbnail big, then yep, this is clean. Love this. I need this, man. This is cool. I like the, the choice of colors. This is also very close to my the colors I use. Just giving me uh, night vision vibes. Ah, another football fan. Nice. Only thing I noticed that really stood out for me is the shadow. I would love to see a more defined shadow instead of just a circle. It's cool. I like this style. I like the consistency. This is a good, really good way to practice. But I mean, okay, actually, I, this is, I'm impressed, man. I love his work. What I like about him is he finds trends and does artworks about them which I'm personally lacking because the way he does it is perfect. He's following Squid Game here, you know, and the style is so good and he's sticking to it. All the neon and like the, the, the lights and the glow. I love this style. I really like it. Oh, this is animated. Wow. Let's see. I guess it's not. I'm not sure what kind of effect is being used on the ground there, but it, this works. I mean, sold. I would love to see a lot of these posts in motion. You can see he wait, you can see he adds a lot of elements from different Why wow, yeah, this is what I wanted to see. You should add this to every post. I think he does it often but not not all the time. We have a YouTube channel for speed art. Okay, I'll check it. Nice advertisement. Is that Benny? Was this person and the horse part of a single image and you just changed the face? Let's see your YouTube. Why is the subscriber count hidden? I like your thumbnails, man. Nice. Keep pushing this. Keep doing this. Just be as original as you can. Ah, he's putting so much effort into the design and all, and I really like that. This is also trendy type of design. 
rap music uh, album covers things like that it's really well done this glowy fiery title is so cool and the ma- i like this original stock oh ooh, okay oh of course i have to to check this how did i miss aziz he does a lot of after effects stuff he loves 3d camera tracker <laughs> I, I personally like creating things like that. It's so much fun. I think this is Element 3D in After Effects. It's really, really fun to play with, especially when you have like a real life footage and you wanna add some 3D elements to it. My all-time favorite video of his is this. It, it's kind of a uh, what's that guy's name? Daniel Shifford, is it? Shooting in his room with just a green screen, and then it, you see the product floating. It's cool. I like that and i think he did that again with something else is this a video yeah it is look at that man the fact that you can shoot something like this in your room with just like low budget stuff is so impressive and i can see like how the progress is going and everything like i'm expecting a lot no pressure man i'm looking forward to the next project yan or jan i'm not sure how to pronounce that i guess it's yan he doesn't have so many posts but his style is so cool and i think he's capable of creating amazing stuff not a big fan of that one but i'm really impressed by this this is really cool i think it's fully 3d oh look at this it's all about the mindset i like the idea wow this looks oh my god Yeah, this is the type of, of art you can enter the NFT world with. Maybe with more colored background, if you're into NFT, of course. Ah, okay, so he took someone else's picture and just added the effects to it. I mean, I'm interested in seeing the creator of this composition, the way he used the flowers in the foreground and everything. I'm not sure how much work is being done on top of this. I think the only difference I see here is color grading. I think next time I'll do it on Discord. So again, make sure you join the, the the server. The link is in the description. You will probably get feedback from me or someone else in the community right after you post uh, your work there because we do share feedback all the time. So you'll benefit on that side as well. And on top of that, I might pick it up randomly next time. I'm thinking of doing more streams like this. 